When I recently traveled to China to see behind the scenes of the e-bike and e-scooter industries, I wanted to visit the companies and factories where it all starts. I was fortunate to receive an invite from Ananda, one of the largest e-bike system suppliers in the country, so I could check out the company's R&D headquarters and one of their global factories to see what goes into these high-tech e-bike systems that are taking over the industry. Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek. And today I'm coming to you from Shanghai and Wuxi, China, where we're visiting Ananda to see their research and development center as well as their headquarters in Shanghai. And then we're going to head over to Wuxi to visit their factory, where we're going to see how they build all of their e-bike motors and controllers and displays and basically all the components that are probably in your e-bike or scooter. Come along with us while we check it out. If you're into e-bikes or e-scooters, there's a good chance you've ridden with an Ananda motor and just not realized it. Last year alone, they produced 6.5 million motors, not to mention millions more controllers, displays, torque sensors, and other e-bike components. According to the company, that puts them as one of the top two suppliers in all of China. In fact, this massive company may just be the best kept secret in the e-bike industry but not for long as they focus on a major expansion into Europe and North America, where they've already partnered with major bike brands. We feel honored that and our product be accepted by some top bicycle brands, and more and more these kinds of brands establishing the good cooperation with, with Ananda. And we feel very proud of that. Yeah. Here at the Shanghai headquarters is where most of the R&D happens, housing the company's engineers, but also the sales and marketing teams and other office workers. Ananda's been in business for over 20 years, and so they've got a lot of experience in these walls. And from what I learned at the R&D center here, that experience starts with designing for every possible scenario. The team of engineers has spent years creating new motors designed for mopeds, e-bikes, e-scooters, and more, including both mid-drive and hub motors. To reach those final designs that power millions of bikes, it all starts with prototyping, where the company's bank of 3D printers is constantly churning out new ideas designed by their engineers. These go through many iterations before they become prototypes that can be tested. At that stage, the hardcore testing begins. All of Ananda's new designs go through testing here at the R&D center before they ever reach the factory assembly lines. I had the chance to see the torture testing labs firsthand so I could understand just what that means. Machines like these put motors through conditions that are as bad or likely worse than they'll ever see in the real world. Humidity controlled environments cycle the components through high and low conditions, ranging from rainforests to arid deserts and back again. If the humidity wasn't enough, full on rain machines give the motors the equivalent of monsoon rains to test their operation in wet climates. Extreme temperature changes run the motors through thermal shocks repeatedly to test the robustness of the designs over exceptional seasonal changes. Button pushing machines push the buttons on the handlebar controls repeatedly, simulating tens of thousands of finger mashes. Shock loading rigs simulate the equivalent of instantly locking up the wheel to ensure the mechanicals inside of the motor are rugged enough for repeated impulses. And dozens of motor dynos are set up to run months long tests for accelerated lifespan testing putting tens of thousands of miles onto these motors. At the same time, full-size complete system test rigs run e-bikes through the same long-term testing, which evaluates how all of the components work together, from torque sensors and controllers to the motors and drive system components. All of this is part of a concerted effort to design systems that don't just work well today, but that continue working well for years and years to come. To get that kind of all-encompassing testing data though, you need more than just laboratory testing. You need teams of real riders and mechanics that build and test the motors and other components in the real world to get actual miles on these parts and see how they work together under real world scenarios. And by special request, I got to snag several of their bikes to spend a few minutes trying them out myself. The first model I tried used Ananda's M100 mid-drive motor. It's an incredibly torquey model with 110 newton meters of torque, though it's mostly made for the European market, so the max power isn't as high. Still, the integrated torque sensor makes it super smooth and responsive, though to get a more powerful feel, 
I hopped on a bike with Ananda's 750 watt M6100 mid-drive motor, which features 160 newton meters of torque. This thing really takes off if you push hard on it, though they can of course dial in the exact throttle ramping and power ramping parameters that each customer wants, so the final feel will depend on how each e-bike company wants to handle power delivery. Both of these are obviously top-notch motors though, quiet and responsive, though the M6100 is so much power that I think it's more than I probably need. It's going to be great for the North American market though, where Ananda's designed all of their systems to work comfortably with a throttle as well. Lastly though, I tried a very different bike, a moped style e-bike with the company's cast wheel hub motor system, and I was actually sure that it had a torque sensor based on how little lag there was in the pedal assist, but it turned out that it was just a cadence sensor. I couldn't believe it, but Ananda's just built such a high resolution cadence sensor that there was almost zero pedal lag. Really nicely done. But I couldn't ride all afternoon, because I still had a whole factory to see. So I headed on over to Wuxi, another area of China that is known for its manufacturing, and here I toured the company's manufacturing facility. Quickly, I learned that before any actual fabrication can take place though, all of the incoming raw materials that Ananda has produced to their specs have to first be inspected. And not just visually inspected, we're talking down to the micron level inspections on these things. This stuff is critical because if it isn't produced to Ananda's specifications, then small variations can result in suboptimal performance, like louder motors and other issues down the road. As soon as those parts do pass inspection, the actual manufacturing can start. One of the first steps there is winding those motor cores. If you've ever seen the way electric motors were built in years past, and honestly still in some places, you've probably seen videos of women hunched over tables using their delicate fingers for hand winding motors. But Ananda has over 70 automated motor winding machines that make hand winding a thing of the past. Now motor cores are not only wound without human labor, but they're also done so much more accurately and uniformly. The beauty of robots is that they never make a mistake, they never get tired, they never miscount the wraps, they just wind up every single motor with every single wire exactly the same way. Different types of motors require different series of windings, sometimes with dozens of individual wire strands at a time. Different sized machines also create different motors, for everything from small e-scooters and e-bikes to large electric mopeds and motorcycle motors. From there, we moved on to the rest of the motor fabrication. The planetary gears are so precise in Ananda's motors that they aren't assembled by hand either. There are robotics that do automated assembly of each of these components, ensuring that they are all pressed in to mesh together at the perfect angle and pitch of each tooth so that they work as efficiently and quietly as possible. Once those are prepared, now the human hands come into play with the final assembly. The motors work their way down the line to be assembled into the shells. For the mid-drive motors, the controllers and other electronics are assembled as part of the process as well. As the motors come down the line, they pass through an isolated sound booth where a worker powers the motors up and tests them to make sure they're working properly and are as quiet as they're designed to be. The motors then get packaged up, and I was surprised to see that gone are the days of traditional foam motor packaging. Instead, Ananda uses all paper-based packaging, so they're not putting more foam out in the world. It's those small things that begin to add up, just like how they've got their own solar panel array on the roof of the factory to offset much of the energy used in production. Because if the goal of light electric vehicles is to use less energy in transportation, then we should also be trying to reduce emissions from the energy of production as well. Back inside though, next I got to check out the clean room where the electronics such as the controllers are produced. Here they use a number of automated machines, like the pick and place to set up their PCBs for soldering, which also have a number of different types of soldering performed depending on the specific component. Since many of these solder joints are too small to inspect with the naked eye, high-tech 3D optical imaging machines are used to inspect the solder joints up close from any angle, ensuring that they're performed properly and you don't have tiny cold solder joints that could break a hundred or a thousand miles down the road. For these types of core processes, components that everything else is built upon, it's important to Ananda that these processes occur in-house. 
for most of uh, important components or some core manufacturing process, we uh, try to control in Ananda. For example, like uh, the, the motor, the uh, winding, and uh, for SMT, the PCBA, like this is a core process. I think compared with other our uh, the competitors, this is the main uh, difference. Because the, the important things we should control to make sure that the product will be you know, reliable. The last stage of the production is yet another round of verification testing, similar to what I saw earlier in the day at the R&D center, yet instead of verifying the initial designs, now they're doing verification as spot tests from each batch of components produced to ensure that everything is performing as intended and there isn't variation between production batches. Even full-size accelerated lifespan testing occurs at the factory, making sure the first mile and the 10,000th mile are working as intended. As Ananda expands around the world, that level of reliability and accountability is more important than ever. In Europe, where you have an established presence, you have multiple service centers. As you expand into the, the North American market, uh, will you be establishing service centers uh, in the United States? Our philosophy is uh, service first and the business that will follow. And uh, yes, in the uh, uh, European market, uh, our service uh, capability, I think, is, uh, is very strong right now. And we have uh, uh, different uh, you know, service stations or service centers in Europe. But in America, uh, three or four years ago, we uh, started to develop the American market. And uh, last year, we set up the first service station in LA. And uh, we uh, started to provide the after service to, to our customers, uh, mainly to dealers, to bicycle brands. Ananda already has dealer-facing software that e-bike companies and dealers can use to diagnose errors. And that's similar to how if you have a Bosch motor, for example, you can go to a Bosch dealer to have your software analyzed. It speaks to the kind of approach Ananda is taking, focusing on the entire e-bike system instead of merely a collection of components. And when you produce as many motors and controllers and other parts as Ananda does, that integration is key. From what I've seen, Ananda seems like they know exactly what they're doing there. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that video visiting Ananda here to see how they develop and build all of those e-bike and e-scooter and e-motorcycle parts. If you did like the video, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.